Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel today it's time to predict and today to start off with we're going with League One. Before we do get underway with the predictions make sure to like and subscribe if you are new uh, and yeah let's get into today's video straight into the bottom four. You can see the table on your right here and you can immediately see the bottom four have gone with Burton Crawley, Shrewsbury and Stevenage. Burton just escaped relegation last year. I think they'll have a poor season, Burton. I think they'll be a bit like Carlisle last season. Crawley a bit of the same. They've lost a lot of good players. Liam Kelly, uh, three I know, Liam Kelly, Lawrence Squire and Corey Adai, all to pretty big clubs. And Shrewsbury and Stevenage might be a bit controversial. Shrewsbury again have lost a lot of big players, I mean one notable one, me being a Chesterfield fan, is Shea Dunkley. So I think they will be relegated as well as Stevenage, they've just lost their best manager in years in Steve Evans. He ended in quite a poor run at Stevenage and I, I don't think they will be in League One um, next season. The next two then, I've gone with Reading and Bristol Rovers. Reading are still, you know, having all stuff with their owners. It's a bit of a mess at Reading at the minute. Bristol Rovers, I don't look at their squad. I don't I don't see enough there to really do that well at all, if that makes sense. So these two, I think, will have a poor season, but just great relegation. In 18th, they've gone with Northampton, 17th, Cambridge, and 16th, Lincoln. Some of you might be surprised to see Lincoln as low as they are, but... I think they'll, they won't be as good as last season. If I'm being honest, I think they overachieved last season. And to, well, to be honest, I love Lincoln. Uh, I mean, Lincoln runs in my family. Um, a lot of my family support Lincoln stuff. So, but I just, it, it hurts me to say I don't think they'll have as great a season as last. And I think within the next few years, they don't get their stuff together. I think they will go down back to League Two. However, I don't think that will be next season. I put them 16. Cambridge and Northampton are them two sort of teams that sort of yo-yo between League One and League Two. Northampton in particular. That's all I've got for them, I think. I, I just, I could see them having a poorer season. In 15th, I've got with Wickham. 14th, Stockport. And 13th, Exeter. I, you know what? I was tempted to put Wickham a little bit lower down, but I put them 16th. 15th, sorry. <laughs> I mean, since they lost... Um, Gareth Ainsworth, it just hasn't been the same at Wickham, has it? One of the longest lasting EFL managers uh, went to QPR and that ended poorly. So, you know, I, I think since then it hasn't been the same at, at Wickham and I think eventually, um, you know, they might see relegation to League Two. In 14th, I've gone with Stockport, the first newly promoted team. Um, they've, they've made some half decent signings. I think, well, obviously, Corey Adai mentioned him earlier. I think they fully brought in. That lad from Villa, it might not have been Villa, he scored against Liverpool for Villa a few years ago, I can't remember his name. He's a quality player as well and I think he will score goals from ne next season. They are the lowest of the newly promoted teams though because of how many players they've lost, the likes of Paddy Madden and Antti Sartovic. And next to put them 13th, I think Gary Cordwell, I mean me being a Chesterfield fan I've seen the other side of Gary Cordwell, but I think he is a top quality manager for League One. Obviously it didn't go well at Chesterfield, but... Um, I mean, he's gone pretty much everywhere else and done, done brilliantly. That Wigan before he came to Chesterfield, he, he did well with Exeter last season as well. Went on a decent run. I think he was top of the table for quite a long period. But Exeter gone with mid-table. In 12th, Wrexham. 11th, Blackpool. And 10th, Scabs. Wrexham, um, obviously back-to-back -back promotions. I, I can't see it being three in a row. However, I do think in a few years... I do think they could potentially go up again. Blackpool were either in the playoffs or swimming around the playoffs last season. And, well, I believe they'll have a, a, a poorer season this season due to the uh, quality of the teams. Mansfield in 10th, me being a Chesterfield fan, I don't like to say it, but they've made some top quality signings. They've got a good manager in um, Brian Clough. And, look, I, I don't like it, but, look, the, in reality... I think they'll do well next season, Mansfield. Pains me to say, but I mean, the likes of Lee Gregory, Aidan Flynn, uh, they, they've got a good squad. Three just outside the playoffs now, going with ninth, Leighton Orient, eighth, Wigan, and seventh, Peterborough. Leighton Orient, same sort of position as last year. Wigan have brought in some half decent players. 
Most notable one for me is uh, Calvin Ramsey uh, coming in on loan uh, from Liverpool. I think that's a top quality signing for them. I think they will, you know, potentially push on the playoffs next year. And Peterborough, they always have this sort of season. Then they? they've they've obviously brought back Chris Conclave from Altrincham after his loan spell there. But it's so Peterborough to to bring him back and then not use him at all. Either that or play him. Do really well and sell them on for a couple more million. We'll see with Peterborough. I think they'll finish just outside the playoffs. Right, it's playoffs time. I'm guessing you've already guessed the uh, the top six. We'll go with the four playoffs now. I've gone with sixth, Rotherham. Fifth, Charlton. Fourth, Bolton. And third, Huddersfield. Start with Rotherham then. I think everyone's slightly overreacting a bit about Rotherham. I think, you know, they have got a decent squad. I think they will get the playoffs. I don't, I don't think they'll push for promotion, if I'm being honest. Steve Evans has obviously gone back to Rotherham. He's obviously a legend there at Rotherham. It might end up being probably the best decision they could have made. I don't think it, I, I, I think they'll just finish just inside the playoffs. Fifth Charlton. This might surprise some people because they have lost Alfie May. But I think Nathan Jones is just too good of a manager for, for League One. Went there last season and, you know, did a really good job. Got a lot of draws, but... You know, they're not defeat. They were in trouble last season, Charlton. He came in um, and brought them pretty much mid-table pushing for playoffs. Again, I think he'll have a really uh, good season, Charlton. Fourth, Bolton. Evo's uh, Bolton. Some say, you know, they maybe should have been a bit higher up. But, I mean, the three that are, you know, the top three, I just think are just going to... Do really well this season. Let's uh, obviously start with Huddersfield. Michael Duff in charge. He obviously knows how to get out of League One. He's done it with Barnsley. The Huddersfield side they've got is very good for League One. Do you think ultimately they will just miss out on the autos? Right, so the time you've been waiting for. you pretty much guessed it now. The top two have gone with second Barnsley and first Birmingham. Barnsley have obviously kept their star player in Callum Styles and the Hungarian international. I think that in itself is massive for them. Another team we've got arguably a championship-esque squad for this level. They could be a real force next season, Barnsley. But not as big as a force as Birmingham. I do think they will go straight back up. And I think the way they went down last season was a bit harsh on them. I think they, they started, you know, getting some results in late last season. It was just too little, too late. Um, but I, I do think the squad they've got is just outrageous for League One. Two main... Players I've seen they brought in is uh, Peacock Farrell and Ryan Allsop. Obviously, Allsop played for Hull last season in the Championship. That just says it all. Peacock Farrell has gotten out of this league with Wednesday. He also knows this league like it's his bread and butter. The amount of players they kept as well. I think Birmingham are going to really do well this season. I think they're going to storm this league, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, that is my League One predictions. Make sure to let me know what you think of them in the uh, comments down below. Obviously, they are just my opinion. You're open to share your opinion down in the comments as well, if you wish. But yeah, let me know what videos I should do next. Make sure to like and subscribe once again if you are new. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.